unreal. You can always oh. tell. So alive, make it last forever. Stop and time. Welcome back to our channel. How are we all today? We have got a Primark video, which is long time no see. And we noticed when we went into Primark the other day that they've got some new products. Makeup products. We've done quite a few testing Primark makeup on our channel before. And we've also, yeah, we've done loads of videos of Primark. And they always seem to do well because who doesn't love Primark? Because it's cheap and Good. cheerful. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> the new collection is called Dusk, like that. And they didn't oh, have wow, loads of products, but they had enough that we can like test out, which is why we've got a base on because we have actually tried Primark bases in the past. This is the first thing that we saw, the eyeshadow palette, and we were like, oh, a new palettes. collection. Oh, look at that. The packaging is brilliant. Wow. Not only do you get this rubbish brush. Oh God. Not only do you get 22 colors, which are lovely and all have names. Mm love that you also get such nice packaging mm. look at that it's so 3d this palette is called eyeshadow palette <laughs> and then we might as well just quickly talk through the other products because there's not loads so we've got a highlighter which is like pinky liquid highlighter which is like white two metallic cream eyeshadows so this one's called galaxy it's like a purpley plum and then this one is called moonstone which is when they swatch, you'll see them so much better. We swatch them in the shop, they're really nice. Yeah. This is like a baby pink. And then, these caught our eye. These are like pigments, and they look very similar to the ones that like MAC and NYX. So they're eyeshadow pigments. Do they have names? And then we also picked up these, which are kind of like... I really like the design of them. They're marble effect, with purple and light purple going through. Called blender sponges, so obviously they're trying to be... Bit like a beauty blender from what i can remember they're quite hard but we wanted to see if maybe they've mixed things up and listened to the crowd <laughs> but we can't use them i've just clocked oh we can't use them we've just done our base <laughs> I didn't oh maybe we can put them on with this they still feel really hard you can always oh. tell mm. they're nice to look at <laughs> these don't have names so that's okay but be sure yeah so this is the colors anyway this collection is based around mainly your eyes. There's a lot to do on your eyes. And the focus is the palette. We're gonna dive straight into eyes, I guess. And we'll see if the products are good. So keep on watching. So they're very pinky, purpley. I'd say they're nice colors. Yeah. If I was to put That's colors a bit of in you, a palette. To be fair. Quite pinky. The only thing I don't really dive for a lot is purple. purple. Yeah. Reminds me of my nan. Oh, a lot of like older women love purple. My mum does too. So before we actually dive in, I just want to swatch the cream eyeshadows. And they are so buttery. Like you dip your finger in and you make a big dent. Like ignore my ratchet nails. So nice and creamy. Look at that. Mm. It's actually like butter. This is the pinky one. You can see how that like hits the light very cute first one i might go in with is this just transition one let's find the name it'll be the same because it's literally the only one that's quite nude i think it's called supernova by the way i love that they put a big mirror in it very really good. good good times one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes is from primark the um i know the one with the oranges and the one that smells like coconut yeah that's yeah. nice yeah it's nice a lot of these colors are shimmer oh really it's fine i'm just gonna do it I saw a video recently, Chloe Marillo, 10 unpopular opinions on makeup. And she was like, why can't you put shadow in the crease? I like it. You mean shimmer? Shimmer. Okay, I'm going to dive in with the shimmer too then. What colour did you use? That one. Yeah, that one. This one's called Eclipse. I think. It's quite hard to read the back, but never mind. This is actually still really nice, even though it's a shimmer. I'm going to use Rocket, which is this pink. It'll go straight in. Yeah, I'm actually agreeing with Chloe Morello right here right now. This shimmer's actually nice. Like... Quite a runway, isn't it? Yeah. Show me. Cute. I'm going to go in with this colour here, which is called Jupiter. Right, I'm going to take both those colours on my bottom lash line for now so I can see what we're working with. I'm going with like a cranberry, which is... That's one I used. What one is it? Jupiter. Jupiter. 
Oh, I just can't decide what to go in with next. That is such a nice colour. That is so nice. I just can't believe it. Look at that. Right, I don't know if I'm going to regret it, but I'm going to go, go in with, with it. the purple. <laughs> I said I wouldn't, but I'm going to try it. I think I'm going to go in with the Moonstone Cream, which is the pinky one. And I feel like doing, like, not a full cut crease, but just kind of half. Oh, look at that. Do you know what I feel like this could be nice for? And I have just, like, wish I've done it now. Liner. <gasps> You're so right. That would be really nice. So, the more I'm using this, the more I'm not sure about it. I think it looks very, like... Let's explain. You know um, when I say a colour's got two... What's it called when it's got reflex? Patchy. It, it makes patchy. it look a little bit patchy. Mm. Yeah, I'm not keen. And... I, I think the colours are nice, but I think the texture's a little bit off. I think they're a little bit slimy. Mm. And if I touch my eyelid, I don't know whether to set mine with this comes purple. Off. Yeah, I think I'm going to put a pigment on top too. I'm not sure, but... Like we said, you could try it as eyeliner, possibly the pink one as like a highlight. I'll just swatch one of the pigments for you. This is the middle shader. I like how they've got like a little dispenser thing because the MAC ones are quite risky. They don't have that. They could just spill at any moment. Look at that. So cute. I've put that on top and I think it's a bit better, but I'm still going to blend it all out because I just think it's very, I don't know. Oh, the pigments are nice. Yeah, they're really nice. I think it would be better without the thing underneath. It's probably making it a little bit lumpy. I'm actually going to go in with the purple now, which is cool. <laughs> You're so funny. You started the whole video saying, I'm not touching the purples. Nebula. What does that mean? I have no idea. This purple on the end. Do you know why? Because I just want it to like blend into the pinks more. Okay, this literally looks like a hot mess. I don't even know if it's going to show up on camera, but it's so textured. Let me explain what I've done, because I literally just set in my own little bubble for a sec. I put on the Galaxy Cream eyeshadow on my lids. I realised I didn't really like it too much. And then I've gone over with the eye pigment, which is purple, and it actually looks really pretty over the top. But then I'm not really, I wasn't really liking the sharp look, so I've taken one of the dark purples. I don't think it would really matter which purple. I use this one. And I've just literally gone into my crease and blended it out so that it kind of blurs up into the pink. Instead of having just a purple pink rainbow. <laughs> I'm a bit stuck on what to do to be honest. I think I'm just going to go back in with the darker pinks and blend it oh all Oh my together. god, I was having a makeup rut. I am, because I'm not feeling this. Okay, so I'm going to go under my lower lash line with the colour we started with, Supernova. Like the transition y colour. I feel like this palette would be really nice for Halloween looks. Yeah, I was gonna say. If you're going as like Catwoman. Catwoman? Because it's all black. You could oh, have like some black kind of the colours I've got. Purple is quite Halloween y, yeah. You know or a witch, I think. So okay. without realising, do you think we've done a little bit of a Halloween Primark special? Do you think? This is what we're up to. I need to add some bronze to my face, like, because I think I'm really pale. I'm pretty much done with my eyes. Yeah. One thing I'm a little bit upset with of this palette. Oh, I guess they do. What? I was going to say they don't really have like a highlight for like an inner corner pop. But there is this colour on the end which is called Moon. Of course it is. Let's see what it's like. Okay, it's not showing up because it's just not. I already feel better now that I've got bronzer on. <laughs> okay, Moon isn't really doing the most. It's just very white and like it's not really got much like of a pop to it. Let's test the eyeliner with this purple. I feel like these cream eyeshadows are going to be a bit of a pain to get off. Oh crap. What do you think of my eyeliner? You turn more to the light. I um, made it quite big. <laughs> I'm torn between it being a quite a dark purple but then it doesn't look bold enough on your eye. But I guess because it's shimmer like when it hits some lights you can't really see yeah. it. I wish it was a bit darker, but then I, maybe you could put the pigment over the top. Should I try that? Okay. Better. Better. To be fair. Now it's going to blend in with my <laughs> Okay then. Well, you live and you learn, don't you? So that's it with the pigment. <laughs> it looks a little bit... I think it's just because our camera's so bright. Did you? Yeah. <gasps> this looks unreal. So while Elle's finishing off her eyes six hours later, <laughs> um, don't worry, it's normally me that's that long. This is the PS Dusk Highlighter. Prismatic. It's, it's mixed between a blush and a highlight. It's really nice that it's, um, again, they've taken it that step further. They haven't just made it flat. Yeah. They've made it prismatic. I get it now. I've got a nice clean hand. Let's have a swatch. Oh my god. Like it, Primark. Let's see in real life. Nice. 
Very nice. So cute, right? I'm not a girl that does Halloween highlights anyway. I appreciate it. It's quite cool for Halloween. Still popping. I do think coloured highlights can look a little bit muddy and clumpy. Yeah. Only when they hit the light, they look cool. We're not the right people to judge it because we don't usually wear colours. But it's fun to try something new. I think it's cute. I'm having a really big problem at the cute moment. On the I nose. keep getting spots like in my highlighter line. Oh, so, so when you highlight them, you're basically saying, look at this spot. I didn't think it could be cute on the nose, but it actually does. Mm -hmm. I think it looks more like a natural highlight when it's on the nose. So I think they did have a mascara, but we either didn't pick it up or misplaced it. This is the Double Dimension Highlighter Droplets. Not gonna lie, they do look like milk, so I'm gonna squirt them on and then we'll have a little chat about it. Oh. Oh. Is that pink? Yeah. I knew it was gonna be like that, holographic y. It's cute. People love holographic stuff. Don't Maybe we can put some on my nose or something. Oh, it's actually cute. Oh, it's actually cute. Oh, it's actually cute. Yeah. So we're gonna quickly finish off the rest of our face off camera because that is all the products that we have from the new range. We are back. These are the final looks. I put on a little bit of that highlight too. Digging it, cute. I actually really like the palette. I think that the colors, you can't fault Primark's pricing, colors, the packaging, packaging, the quality. You just can't. For the price, it's mad. Like, even if they were a little bit less pigmented, I'd still be like, well, it reflects in the price. Yeah, exactly. So, the fact that it is pigmented and it is a bomb box, whatever it is. Palette. Palette. <laughs> These cream eyeshadows, I won't be using again. I like them, but I think they need to be tested a bit more, like, to see what, exactly what you want to do with them. Because we kind of just chucked them on the lid and True. didn't we were really know what we were going to put it with. If you just solely sat there and experimented with them with them for the day, I'm sure you could find something you could do with them. Yeah. And for the price, again, they're 2 dollars That's true. If you want cream eyeshadows, don't go to MAC. Go to Primark. If Primark bring out more colours of these, they're going to be a winner. I think it was £5 for three. Yeah. Which is mad. That is ridiculous. You can get one in MAC for about 17, 20 pounds maybe. These were really good, a pigment's a pigment if you've got some Fix Plus, they were a win. I would say that, well, again, Primark have smashed it. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm yet to find a collection where I'm like, they honestly bring it to the table every time. Mm -hmm. And if you want to try this collection, Halloween's probably the perfect time mm -hmm. because it's very purple and metallic and- I just think it's fun. If you want to see it and have yeah. a bit of fun with makeup, I always say I want to experiment more with makeup. Mm. So I think this palette is a really good opportunity if you're like me and you just stick to your neutrals. Let's quickly zoom in and you will do a little montage of Elle's look first. Oh yeah, work it girl. <laughs> Hello, I am Sydney and I am from the intergalactic spaceship. <laughs> That is the end of this video. We really hope you guys enjoyed it and leave any comments down below if you have any other suggestions for makeup for us to try mm -hmm. as we used to do that loads back in the day. If you guys still enjoy makeup videos, obviously we'd love to create them. We find it a lot of fun, but we want to do what you want to see. Exactly. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please do hit the thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite product was and if you're going to go get it. We love you. See you soon. Bye. 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 Thank you.